I'm Peter. I'm Wang. And this is Azorio. And this is Azorio. So you're from uh, Cainta Rizal, Manila? Yes. In the Philippines? Oh, nice. Yes. Correct. Oh, that's right. When did you move from the Philippines? You, you moved from the Philippines to Saudi Arabia to work, right? So 2001, I guess, year 2001. Yeah, yeah because I moved from uh, Saudi to Canada 2008. Yeah, July. Right, yeah. And you were there for like seven years, you said, no? Seven years, yeah. yeah. And you were midwife. Yeah, I was a midwife. So, I work from Philippines first. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I medical, work in the medical, medical city. city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where in Saudi were you? Uh, in King Fahad Hospital, Al Baha. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed uh, working in, in the hospital in Saudi Arabia. And that was where you met uh, in that July. Oh yeah, I met my my Jelani. My friend, my best ever friend. <laughs> <laughs> so she was the charge nurse and you worked under her. Like, yes. She was your supervisor. Yeah. And she did most of your work for you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk about that. <laughs> my friends from Saudi, they will know what I'm, I was doing. <laughs> I was really bad, bad. July was the one who's uh, helping me out everything. So thank you, July. <laughs> From there, you moved to Canada, and you came as a caregiver. Oh yeah, as a live-in caregiver program. When you came, you used an agency. Oh yeah, yeah. And the agency charged you how much to come to Canada? Four thousand five hundred. Uh, U.S. I was applying from Saudi. Yeah, but was that U.S. or Canadian? No, uh, I think Canadian. Yeah, oh, Canadian. Okay. That is our placement fee. And then, so your first job working here was that Papa Tony? Uh, no, actually I worked to uh, uh, one family with two kids and I stayed there for two weeks. Like as so a nanny? Yeah, as oh, a really? nanny. Oh, yeah. okay. That I didn't know. <laughs> oh, <you> did. <laughs> yeah, I always thought Papa Tony was your first... Uh... No, my first job was uh, as a nanny. So from there you went to Papa Tony? Yeah. You actually went to support his wife first? Yeah. Mama Esther. Mama. But Papa Tony, at the time that you moved in there, like as a live-in caregiver, he didn't have any problems? No, he didn't have any problem. He's still good. He, he was the one actually teaching me everything because they are mm. Italian. Mm. So they teach me, he teach me how to, how to cook Italian food, like spaghetti, pettuccine, and how to make pasta. Yeah, which yeah. he does really well, by the way. <laughs> It's like yeah. the best. Uh, I have to move on because I studied BSW and graduated at the same time when I was staying with them. So you started working for Spectrum in what, 2012? Uh, I think 2012, yeah. So yeah, I moved 2012, not 2011. Uh, what sort of hobbies and things do you have? What are the things you like to do outside of work? Uh, outside of work, I want, uh, I'm always going shopping. <laughs> I love shopping. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I love to play badminton. Oh, yes. That's right. Yes, badminton. And sometimes we go for uh, bowling. Yeah, we have <laughs> <laughs> Until they closed the bowling. Room. I think they closed it because I bowled so badly. Watching movies. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're next. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, where do you live? Well, born in Canada. Yeah. Raised in Canada. Mm -hmm. Started in, in Mississauga, which is that way. Okay. And then moved to Shelburne, which is north of here, when mm -hmm. I was nine. Mm -hmm. I guess. Oh, nine years old. How many siblings? Mga kapatid? Wow. Ilan kayo? Too many. <laughs> Too many to mention. <laughs> Six kids in my family all together. And five, you are? Five boys and one girl, and I'm the youngest. You are the bunso. Being a teenager, how are you when when you was a teenager? And <laughs> how old are you when you move from from your uh, when I moved from away your from family? Home? Yeah. 
Well, being the youngest when, when I was still, when I was a teenager, my mother would always say that I'm a good kid. Uh, I was oh, always a, a good child, well behaved, never really got into trouble. That's <laughs> all really. That she knew of. <laughs> <laughs> um, I used to hang out a lot with my friends, but and of course being up in the country, because uh, Shelburne's a, a very rural area. Mm -hmm. We used to do a lot of stuff outdoors, snowmobiling, bike riding, and it's like mm -hmm. we didn't do TV. It just mm -hmm. wasn't, it wasn't what kids did. You know, yeah. We hung out together. Which of course, when you start getting into teen years, turns into, you know, the first one to experiment with illicit materials, such mm -hmm. as marijuana. <laughs> So when I was in, in yeah, high school, yeah. I, I smoked a lot of grass, a lot of marijuana. <laughs> oh boy. And a lot of ash. Uh, okay. Ozzy. Yeah. One of our kitty cats. Yeah. What okay. are you doing, Dum Dum? Oh. Say hi to the people. Oh, <laughs> he's a saucy. Ozzy is a big baby and he likes to talk a lot during the night, <laughs> which is really annoying. <laughs> Ozzy. There's okay. another cat we'll show you later. Mm -hmm. I moved down to Oakville, which is coincidentally where my dad and two of my brothers are. Mm -hmm. I worked at my dad's shop. Mm -hmm. I did industrial spray painting. I did uh, all kinds of stuff. It's like the jobs that I've had in my lifetime was ridiculous, but anyway, yeah. good experience. And I think I think you went back to uh, school. Mm. Yeah. Did school when I was in Newmarket. <clears throat> oh, I thought that when was you when was I... here with your dad. No, no. That was when I was living in Newmarket. Remember mm -hmm. when we were driving past that building, I said there's my old school? Yes, yes. Yeah, that was, I went for uh, computer programming and systems analysis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, darn. yeah, so that's yeah. why I ended up moving, well, in part why I ended up working for my dad in, uh, mm -hmm. in Oakville was because I, I, there wasn't anything else that I could do. I wasn't qualified mm -hmm. to do anything else. My programming didn't mean shit to anybody. But like I lived in Oakville and then I was playing in a band mm -hmm. and I moved in with um, the drummer. Yeah. And we toured all around Ontario, uh, mm -hmm. Northern Ontario, all that stuff, which it's was- Like a road show. Yeah, it was tons of fun. Yeah. And then from there, uh, I moved back to Mississauga, and that was when I met my now ex-wife. Mm -hmm. She lived in Toronto, I lived in Mississauga, and we got married in 2005. It didn't work out for a bunch of reasons. Mm -hmm. You and I have talked about it, and yeah. I'm sure it'll come up. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, uh, we separated in early 2015, and that's when I met you. So you play, you play... Uh... Yeah. You um, play guitars, you play uh, uh, piano. <laughs> do you remember all those things? <laughs> you, play, you play drums. Yes. Yeah. Actually, so, that was, I was playing drums the first time you ever saw me play. Yes. I, I, heard. Had, I had just bought a set of drums. Uh -huh. From a Filipino, no less. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> One of the first shows that I did live with my brothers. Mm -hmm was on drums. Yeah, actually he's a musician, he's a painter. Yes, I'll throw <laughs> paintings here, 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 over there. What else? I'll throw some pictures. Of computer paintings. tech. Well, now, now, now I'm the computer tech. Aside for uh, being musician, uh, computer tech, painter, what else do you do? You do? Sleeping, I eating, like sleeping, <laughs> drinking. I like to drink. Oh, drink, yes. <laughs> no, but I don't drink. Actually, I don't. I've never really drank all that much. I kind of had different periods in my life when I drank a lot. Like when I worked at the bar, I drank a lot. <laughs> but drinking for me, for me was never. Um, it was never an escape from anything. It was always to enhance the environment of something that I was doing. So it was always social. Mm -hmm. Like I always, I love drinking with my brothers because we sit down and we play guitar because they're all musicians and when we drink and we play guitar until whatever time, four, five, six, seven in the morning, there's lots of good stories to go with that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I do still play. Yeah. Just, as you know, 
mm -hmm. course, because of COVID and everything else, I can't do shit. Mm -hmm. I do still love to play, and we I do have a new band that, that I play with, the Coveralls. You can find us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, he has two bands. Yeah, yeah, so I still play with my brothers, and then I've got my, my own band. Yeah. So this is Oreo. As you can see, she's like a groundhog. <laughs> oh, it's a Mickey. <laughs> 